Welcome to this polymer clay earrings tutorial using washi tape. Hi everyone, I'm Mel, the sculptress and artist from Two Feathers Gallery based in Australia. Here I've got an apricot coloured polymer clay slab. I'm using some cutters to make the shape of our earrings. And it's so satisfying to peel off the excess. Whoa! This isopropyl alcohol is cleaning up some of the little dirty bits that snuck on there. How rude. I'm applying the washi tape to the unbaked raw clay and smoothing it on very, very gently so I don't squish and smush it too much. I love these delicious colours. After we put this tape on, we're going to bang it into the oven. And it's out of the oven now and you can see that I've got some scissors and I'm trimming off the leftover tape and it works out really well. It's just so easy. I'm using my fingernail to remove the burrs and the little scraggly bits. You can also lightly scrape with a knife. Keep scraping until you're happy. It's looking good. Okay, sand if you like with your preferred sanding tools. Here's another batch I made and I'm removing them from the tiles with a tissue blade. I used all of my tape, I just kind of went nuts. I always tend to do that if you didn't realize or notice. I really love the vintage style of these earrings. Seal your polymer clay earrings with your preferred medium. Here's the earring findings that I'm going to use. They're stud earrings with a nice, comfortable comfort backing so it doesn't cut into your ear. Ouch. I use a two-part epoxy to stick the earring posts on and I apply a generous amount. And this is a hand drill you can get for about 10 bucks online. But I usually use an electric drill because it's just quicker and easier and I make a lot of earrings. And I sneakily went away and used my electric one. I didn't use the hand drill on all these ones, guys, okay? Anyway, so I've got some ear hooks and I've measured where I wanted to put the dot with the ruler. I didn't include that bit, ah! But then I just guesstimated the, where the other dot would go and I'm using a fine tip Sharpie marker to make those dots. Oh my gosh, a trick. I just wrench it, the ring around on the ear hook using the widest part of the pliers. And I'm opening up a jump ring here to put into that hole. Yeah, my little trick means that you don't have to fiddle around with another teeny tiny jump ring. You can just open it and pop it straight on. It's just so quick and easy. It's like the best trick ever. You may or may not agree with me. Please let me know in the discussion down below. Here they are, polymer clay washi tape earrings. I'm so happy with them. I really love how they turned out. They're just so pretty and I'm definitely going to be putting a couple aside to put with my earring collection. I hope your polymer clay washi tape earrings turned out really well and you've enjoyed this quick polymer clay time lapse. Please like and subscribe to keep this channel going and I'll see you in a moment in the next video.